years ago, they will already be part robotic and part organic. Do you think there's a sweet spot for a human being to be ultimately happy? Do you think, like, there's a thing, a longing for nostalgia that people have, right? They, they want to be in a log cabin by the river and, you know, look out and camp out under the stars. Do you think that is a, a nostalgia for the days when things are simpler because things are just never-ending with their complexity and, and the path is just accelerating no matter what you do and you feel helpless? So you just want to... St- Pretend you're in the old-timey days. Well, in the future, you'll be able to snap your finger, and all, all of a sudden, holographically, you are in that world that you just dreamt of. But you know what the difference is? What's the difference? There's no consequences. One of the things about being in nature is there's consequences. Like, you feel it when you're out there. You feel if you fell, no one's there to help you. If a bear comes upon you, there's, there's no rescue team. You know, there's a, there's a crazy video of this couple. Have you seen the video of that couple where the guy's got a baby on his back and there's a walk with a little boy? And there's a huge grizzly bear walking towards them. And they're going, hey, bear, hey, bear, stop. And you could feel the tension as this bear starts getting closer. And the little boy is hilarious. The little boy goes, can I play dead now? Can I play dead now? Because he's thinking he should play dead. <laughs> and they're like, come on, come on, keep walking. And they're trying to scare off this bear, but the bear just keeps coming towards him. That is not going to exist in your hologram. Well, it'll be virtual. No, be no, 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 no. But it won't because you won't be really scared. You know, like watch this. Is this it? Yeah, that's it. So look at this bear. It's a huge bear. Hey! So this little boy is so funny. It's in Whistler, Canada, a, t- a town north of Vancouver. Do not run. <laughs> Can we play dead yet? Can we play dead now? <laughs> Can we play dead now? <laughs> that kid is hilarious. Look at that bear. Oh, following us up the trail. Look, she's got a baby. He's got a baby. I mean, these people are nature people. Yeah. Well, but he- but that experience mm-hmm. in a hologram is going to be bullshit. Yeah, you'll know that it's fake. Yes, yeah. that's the problem. The problem, what we enjoy about the real world now is that the unknown, the, the consequences, reality. I've seen this one, too. Look at this bear walk by these guys. I mean, what? And the bear just, you know, not looking for them. Well, the, just hanging the bear out. had lunch already. Probably, luckily for them. Hey, bear. Look Whoa, at the size of that thing. Yeah, not hey, good. Bear. Not, Not a, good. Hey, bear. Well, they're lucky to be alive after this video. <laughs> 100%. See, that's different than a hologram. That's why people like the woods. You're not going to be able to snap your fingers and do that. You could maybe do that because you could trick yourself, but then you're really giving into the matrix. But if I had a choice between an imaginary bear and a real bear, I would take the imaginary bear any time of day. But would you take the real dispense. bear if you survived it? If you survived it, I bet you would take the real bear. But you see, if you survived it, then that takes, the, that takes all the tension away. No, it doesn't take the tension away because you almost didn't survive it. There's a thing about being out there. While those gentlemen were standing there and that bear was 15 feet from them, maybe even closer. Look at this one. See, now this is a relatively safe thing to do, believe it or not, because where this bear is, is where the Salmon River runs, and these bears are full. The reason why those coastal bears are so big in comparison to grizzly bears that are inland is because they're access to food. They have so much salmon. So it's very rare that these bears attack people, very rare. For the most part, uh, they don't think of human beings as food at all. They just think of you as like another animal just hanging around. They're not interested in chasing something and killing well, it. Well, they had lunch already. Energy. That's yeah. why. They've had lunch all day, <laughs> every day. I mean, they're just slaughtering salmon. They're having a great old time. But that fear is a real fear, and you get enriched by that in some strange way. When you encounter nature, like real nature, the, the reality of your vulnerability the, the uncaring wilderness. It does not care if you live or die. It has no interest in you. It doesn't even care that you exist. You could disappear. Everything would go on exactly the same. There's something about that that's very, very therapeutic for people. 